Uh-huh. And this song is for those that know without a doubt in their mind. Thank you so much for joining us this morning at TNT Ministries. We hope that you will be impacted by the word of God. God bless you and good morning. My name is Pastor Lisa Harrell and I am filling in for Reverend Dr. Tony Respis this morning and I am going to be sharing with you a message that I preached on a cruise ship in November in 2019 talking about hold on help is on the way. On behalf of TNT Ministries we thank and bless every mother that is watching this morning and we are so grateful for your love and your compassion and your contribution just to humanity. But I wanted to encourage all people today that God has not forgotten about you in the midst of the storm. Please know that God is there and that you can hold on to him because help is on the way. You don't want to miss what God is saying. Listen, I can't wait to let you hear this message where we're going to be encouraging your heart. Listen, I want you to know, listen, we have done our first blog post and our first blog post is a coffee cup conversation with Lisa. So I'm inviting you to sit down at the table with me so we can talk about issues of life and to be able to get free together. So guess what? Our first sip of coffee was saying goodbye to fear. And I don't know about you, but I'm trying to tell somebody today, God has great and awesome things for you. Even you, Jay, tonight, you need to know that God has not forgotten about you. And he has awesome things in store and in plan for you. Listen, sometimes as I'm on a boat, I am starting to see things that I've never seen before. And one thing about it is I'm so glad that he is the captain of our ship. He is our way, our truth, and our life. And we have thank you thanking him tonight that even though we might go through fear, even though we might experience in the way of the ship. He has never left us. Yeah. And one thing about it that you ought to get excited tonight because I'm going off a of script tonight and I'm going off of our series to talk about something tonight that should help you. And it's called Hold On. Help is on the way. If you are typing tonight, I need you to go ahead and type it help somebody else. We're going to be going to Mark chapter 5 verse 25 through 34 and I'm going to be talking about something that is so dear to my heart. Talking about hold on help is on the way. If you are with me tonight I need you to go ahead and type it. Those of you that are in the room you ought to give God praise in advance because I believe that God is going to speak like never before. Well listen I am going to have a short um, Monday night live because I am on vacation so I'm getting ready to preach this message and get up out of here today and eat some more food. So listen hold on. Everybody say hold on. Hold on. Help is on the way. On I see way. you can need I love you. If you could go ahead and tap on those hearts, I can see you tonight. Listen, we're talking about hold on. Help is on the way. Candy, I love you so much. The hype squad is here. That's right. That's right. We up in the room. <coughs> so let's go to Mark. I see you, Adrian. God bless you. Um, let's go to Mark chapter 5. And I want to talk about verses 25 through 35. So listen, we're talking about hold on. Help is on the way. Go ahead and type it in if you believe it tonight. You need to share this with somebody. Somebody needs to be touched by this word because I believe that God's going to do an amazing work in a little bit of time. So everybody say it again. Hold on. Hold on. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. Listen, those of you who know my mother, you know that she is a phenomenal cook. And because she is a phenomenal cook, I'm always waiting for food to be done. Come on, somebody ought to say amen. amen. And have you ever had to wait for a Thanksgiving dinner? And listen, one of my mom's biggest pieces of advice is let us be able to taste the food yes. to understand that there was more coming. Yes. But she had to let us know as little ones that she had to guarantee that it was completely done right. in order to make sure that I was going to get the result that I wanted. Nobody okay. wants raw macaroni and cheese. Nobody wants raw turkey tonight. Nobody wants raw ham that's not been completely done. And some of us have allowed the things of life to be able to just take a little taste of it. And we think that we have arrived and we think that it's all completed. But how many people know that we need to trust the process tonight? Somebody needs to say trust the process. 
So my mother would like would allow me to taste to understand that there was promise that was to come. I said something yeah, tonight. Right, yeah, she let yeah. me taste it to understand that there was something else coming. But she had to guarantee me that there was a powerful thing with me trusting the process and waiting for the right outcome to come. Yeah. I want to help somebody by the way of the Holy oh, Spirit. Yes, yes. You need to trust the process tonight. I know that it might feel like you are sad and I know that you might be lonely and afraid. I know that you might be fearful and I know that you need to understand that sometimes it gets rough but I came to talk to by the way of the Holy Spirit that will hold on to God's unchanging hand and to know that when we hold on to him not only will he never leave us he will never forsake us oh I came to talk to somebody tonight to know that as you hold on to God he will do the impossible for you somebody amen. amen go ahead and type it in if you can hold on somebody say hold on help is on the way so as we anticipate Thanksgiving dinner, it helped us to understand that there was value in waiting. Come on, yeah. somebody. Oh, I wish I could talk yeah. to you, friends, today. There is value in waiting on the Lord. Listen, David said, I had unless I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And then he encourages us tonight by saying, wait on the Lord yeah. and be of good courage. And he will strengthen your heart. And then he it again for all of the doubters to be able to hear what I say on the Lord. Listen, I'm trying to tell you, he may not come when you want him, but he is right on time. I have been, I have some prayers that I have been laying before him year after year, month after month. And listen, I wonder sometimes, I cannot be real so you can get healed today. Listen, I wonder sometimes if God has heard my cries. I wonder sometimes if he has really heard me because I'm crying out to him. Lord, you don't know it hasn't happened. I can't see it yet. I don't know what else to do. But how many people know when you hold on to God's unchanging hand, he will come through through for you every single time yeah the process might not feel good but it's working together for your good what does Romans 8 declare Romans 8 and 28 declares for we know that all things come on not some of the things all things work together it's working in your favor. The process might not feel good, but it's working together Amen. for your good. If you're with me tonight, go ahead and tap on those heart buttons. And those of us in here, you ought to give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Getting ready to move. So let's go to Mark chapter 5, verse 25 through 34. Michelle, I see you. God bless you. I'm sorry. God bless you. Listen, it says, Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years and had suffered many things from many physicians, and she had spent all that she had, and she was no better. Somebody say, No better. No better. But rather grew worse. And when she heard about Jesus, I see you, Maggie, yeah. she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. Yeah. But she said, If only may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. And immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. Somebody say heal. Healed. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, who touched my yes, clothes? Yes. But his disciples said to him, you see the multitude that is around you and you're saying to us who touched me uh -huh. and he looked around to see her who had done this thing but the woman fearing and trembling knowing what had happened to her came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth everybody say the whole truth, the whole truth. and he said to her daughter your faith has made you well yeah. go in Peace. Listen, I want to submit something to you tonight in Facebook Live on 545 right on the sea to help somebody today. Because some of you are going through challenges in your life. Some of you are experiencing the storm that you have never felt before. And you need to understand that this story in Mark chapter 5 was on the way to him going to see about somebody else. Let me help you by the way of the Holy Spirit. 
tonight somebody needs to know that you might feel like God is delaying but he's just helping somebody else on the way to help you oh I wish I had somebody tonight you need to understand that not only has he not forgotten he has done the impossible and you need to know to know that listen hold on somebody ought to say it tonight hold on help is on the way anybody need help tonight I'm trying to tell you I need them in my mind. I need them for my family. I need them for my marriage. I need them in my finances. I need it for my children's children. I believe in God that help is here. So listen, I want to submit something to you. I call her this in my message, and I love this. The certain woman didn't have a name. Come on, somebody said yeah. she didn't have a name. Yeah. I see you, Maggie. I see you, Candy. I see you, Kenny. Listen, I'm about to go ahead and jump out this boat and just go ahead and give God praise. All listen, right. All right. a certain woman didn't have a name, and some of us can feel like God has forgotten our name. Yes. But tonight I'm going to name her, and I want you to type it in. Type in Sister 4000. 380 days. Sister, 4,380 days. Why is that important? Because listen, you need to know that she waited, bleeding with her issue, waited, bleeding out finances, bleeding out her dignity, bleeding out her character for 4,380 days. She had to endure the shame. She had to endure not being around her family. And every time she would go outside in any kind of area where other people were, she had to declare her disease and her sickness every single time. All she could tell people was that she was unclean. And every day for 4,380 days, all she could say was, I'm unclean. Do you know how it feels to be in bondage with every day that you declare? Every day for 4,380 days, she's bleeding going to the positions. I know that she was being discouraged. I know she was yes. being disappointed. Yes. I know she was yes. looking like, yes. Lord, why would you allow this to happen to me? I want to be back with my family. I want to be back yes. to normal. Jesus. Oh, I'm talking to somebody Jesus. tonight on this live tonight who needs to know that God has called you from every unclean thing. He has called you from the strongholds of life and he is the chain breaker. Oh, I wish I had somebody tonight. And the blessed hope of what we are excited about tonight. Come on, somebody say, hold on, help is on the way. Because let me tell you, friends, there's good news tonight whom the sun sets free. <laughs> It's free indeed. So Sister 4,380 days has spoke to me in such a powerful way. Let's look at Mark. Mark is very frank about his comments concerning the woman's experience with many physicians. Any of you who have went to the doctor's office, you realize that it is a complete process. They now are poking on you. They are talking to you. And listen, the physicians of that day were at their highest level where she was at. And so you need to understand that this was something that was very, 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 very heavy on her because kept telling her we yes. don't have the answer yes. listen yes. I'm gonna share a personal testimony today just to help somebody today when I went to the doctor about our issue with us being able to have our babies do you know how hard it was to sit there for three and a and to yeah. wait and wait and yeah. wait to only hear a doctor say there is nothing wrong with you Miss Harrell, Mr. Harrell we don't know what is going on and listen my heart began to break when I was sitting in that clinic because I'm saying Lord what in the world is going on and then I begin to hear the Holy Spirit begin to speak to me and say you better wait on the Lord and be of good courage and Maggie Listen, I might not see it now. <laughs> but Sister 4,380 days began to know that there was a man named Jesus. <laughs> named Jesus was able hallelujah in one moment those of you who know what a hymn is a hymn is not long a hymn is not big it's very tiny and all she had to do was touch the hymn of his garment 
and she was made whole. Yes. Sister 4,380 day had to hold on no matter what. That's point number one. Everybody say point number one. Point number one, point number one is that you have to trust Jesus no matter what. Amen. We used to sing a song, I will trust in the Lord yes. until I die. Yes. I'm going to stay on the battlefield. Yes. I'm going to treat everybody yes. right. Yes. Why? Yes. Because you got to trust him when you can't feel him. Yes. You got to trust him when you can't see him. Yes. I know I'm talking to some survivors today yes. where if the yes. enemy had his way, you wouldn't have made it this far. Yes. Yes. If the enemy had it this way, you would have already threw in the towel. Yes. If the enemy had his way, you would have already been dead. But somebody ought to get excited and say, hold on, help is on the way. How I got to move tonight. I got to move. We almost done. So we look further into the text. Mark chapter 5. This healing was unique. Not merely because it was instantaneously, but it's because it occurred without any apparent conscious participation by Christ. Lisa, what are you saying? Her faith Touch God first. Right. Listen to that. My Lord, my Lord. And God knew. Look, Jesus is sitting there. A hundred God. A hundred. Yes. All yes. at the same time. I yes. see you collect. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the same time. And she literally touches and reaches out. What can happen tonight if people on Monday Night Live at 545 will yes. let their faith reach out yes. for the Savior like oh, never before? What will happen in your home when you begin to reach out in faith? What can happen in your community when you believe that the disparities that are facing our community will not let? What will happen if you believe for the widow and the orphan? What will happen if you believe for your family to be blessed and healed and saved and set free? Listen, there will be nothing that will be impossible when the children reach out for him in faith. Yes, yes. However, Jesus was immediately aware of what had occurred. We are not to assume that touching the garment had a magical effect. Jesus in his omniconscious recognized the touch of faith and granted the woman's desire. Oh, I came to challenge you by the way of the Holy Spirit. When was the last time you pressed past the crowd of discouragement? When was the last time you pressed past the crowd of I can't do it? When was the last time that you pressed past loneliness, the crowd of despair, the crowd of hopelessness, and be able to touch out and reach out and let the Lord see you at your touch. Point number two is real quick, and I got to get out of here. Point number two is through the crowd of life, all I need is to fix my eyes on Jesus. What does the Bible say? Looking unto Jesus, what? The author and the finisher of our faith. Some of you are you have the voids in your life. Some of you are wondering why you don't have the happiness you, you think you should have. Because some of you have stopped reaching out and you started looking at the crowd. How many people know the crowd is not meant to help you? The crowd is for you to push past. Everybody was in the crowd for the same reason. But that woman's faith touched him in a different way. Do you know when you reach out to God with everything inside of you, he begins to respond, not because it was magical, but because he was like, listen, I'm trusting him. Can you type your name today? And those of you who are in the room, you don't have to say it out loud. Somebody just say, hold on. Help is on the way. When was the last time that you said? be that. Lord, let Lisa be the one that will reach past my problems, reach past my limitations, reach past my failures, and to be able to touch God with everything inside of me. Point number one is that we have to make sure that we hold on no matter what and trust Jesus. Point number two, through the crowd of life, all I need to do is fix my eyes on Jesus. She was risking her life. She had two choices, to die or to die. I wish I had somebody with that. She was going to die anyway in unfulfillment. Yes. She was going to die anyway because she was unclean. Yes. But something in her said, I'm not going to stay yes. in the same situation yes. Yes. and just fall out and die. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to 
to lift up my faith. I wish I had somebody tonight. I'm going to press past myself. Some of you have allowed depression and oppression to move you down to where you feel like your only options are death and death. But I came by way of the Holy Spirit to encourage you tonight that is on the way. You don't have to die where you are. You don't have to die to your situation. There is help available and let me help you with good news today. Friend, there is a solution and the solution is Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. What amazes me, and I want to I want to share this quote by Oswald, Os, Oswald Wall, um, Chambers, sorry about that, that you need to out into the invincible future with him. All she did was hear about him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What messed me up in the text tonight, Sarah, is she didn't even know if he was the real deal. Wow. Lisa, what do you mean? In scripture, there were other prophets that were around. Yeah, exactly. There were other people who were yeah. claiming yeah. to be the Christ. Yeah. There were other people who were claiming there were magicians and sorcerers yeah. and all the people right. who were out there. Right. But she heard about this man named Jesus Mm. you know what I wonder in the life of the believer as we hold on sometimes I feel like we lessen his name Mm. because we forget that we are his sons and his daughters and when we call on his name in faith believing Jesus will just dare you wherever you are right now if you can lift up your hands without dropping your phone and those that are in the room can somebody Jesus. 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 When you call on his name, things begin Jesus. to change. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about I have some real issues Jesus. going on with me. Sometimes Jesus. I can be tore up from Jesus. the floor yes. up, and I need his Jesus. power. And when I call on his name, things yes. when I call on his name, yes. hallelujah, it's going to be dried yes. up. When I call yes. on his name, yes. it's the unfailing name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. It's the name of all power. Yes. It's the name that's above every name. Yes. It's a wonderful counselor, yes. Prince, yes. mighty God, yes. Jehovah Jireh. Yes, Lord. This morning, the enemy tried his best to make me worry. Hallelujah. Oh I know. I'm not mad either, Maggie. We haven't on this boat. Yes. Hallelujah. We got us a conference room for Monday Night Live because we still got a charge to keep in the God to glorify. That's right. That's right. So Sister Certain um, Woman was a sister 4,380 days and her failures and her shortcomings didn't matter to God. Her bleeding out and her pain didn't matter to Jesus. Most would have quit. Most would have stayed right where they are in despair. But she decided to get up. Mm-hmm. Say it one more time for the Holy Spirit. Hold on. Hold on. Help is on the way. If you're on there, go ahead and type it. Go ahead and type it. Hold on. Hold Help on. is on the way. <clears throat> Listen. So when we look further into the text, she had to move past fear and popularity to obtain wholeness. Yes. <laughs> I wish I had yes. somebody. She had to move past fear because quite honestly, if they saw that she was unclean, in this place, she could, they could have picked up stones and yes, killed her right there right, on the spot. Yes. That's why she fell down. That's the word. Ooh. That's the word. So she had to move past. I, I need somebody to hear. Yes. Somebody yes. need yes. to type this in. Yes. She had to move yes. past fear. Yes. Some of you are so afraid of your past. Jesus. Some of you are saying, I'm too dirty. I failed too much. Jesus. I can't go ahead and listen. I came by the way of the Holy Spirit. He doesn't care how dirty you are. Amen. He doesn't care what you've done in Amen. your past. Yeah. Listen, whom the sun sets free, I said it earlier, is yeah. free indeed. And his blood covers and it washes. Ooh. Yeah. I love the yeah. song that it reaches yeah. well, to the highest yeah. mountain and it goes yeah. to the yeah. lowest yeah. valley. Yeah. Yeah. It's the blood tonight. Help is available for those who actively wait on him. We don't wait on him in despair. We don't wait on him without seeking his face. We don't wait on him just saying, well, I hope he's going to do it. We wait knowing that our God is more than able. Finally tonight, friends, I want to pray tonight with you that you would reach out and touch Jesus with everything inside of you. I preach this message and this message is dear to my heart because a lot of the issues that I had in my life, I just felt like everything was bleeding out and nothing was going to work. 
Literally, my body started to react in the same way with this woman the issue of blood but i promise you he is a healer i promise you he's a way maker i promise you he is a promise keeper i promise you he'll keep you when you don't even want to be kept and tonight i hope somebody hears me don't you dare give up don't you dare throw in the towel Don't give up on your dream. Don't give up on your passions. Don't give up because listen, just when you think the enemy has you down and you bled out and you don't have any more, the physicians had took all her money. She had nothing else left. And that woman, sister 4,380, she only had the option to reach out for this man named Jesus. Somebody needs to know tonight. He's waiting on you. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus that you would bless your people. Father, tonight, thank you for your word. Thank you for your promises. Hallelujah. For every promise in you is yea and amen. I pray for every person that's in this room. I pray for the people on this live that we would trust you more and serve you better. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would just absolutely wreck our world. That we would dream again. That we would have faith again. That we would reach out for you. That we would not get lost, Lord God, in the crowd. But that we would allow your power, your anointing, your presence to be in the forefront of our lives. Father, when it's all said and done, we want to hear well done. Yes. Father, help us to endure even when we don't understand it. God, we love you and we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody ought to type amen. Amen. And somebody ought to say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Well, listen. I thank God for you. I'm going to be in this same place, not on this boat, but I am going to be on Monday Night Live next week at 545. I thank you so much. Why don't you share this message with somebody who needs to hear it and encourage them and tell them, hold on. Help is on the way. Amen. I love you tonight. I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you haven't liked the LAH ministry page, you please go on Facebook and like us. Listen, I got some amazing things happening for the year 2020. And listen, everybody say, type it in. I want you to say it in here. Don't get, don't get left out. Don't, don't get, get left out. out. Listen, I got some very special things happening for the year 2020. And I want to invite you to be a part. Listen, do not be left out. You need to go to LAH ministry. Somebody type it in December 1st, December 1st, December 1st. We are moving officially to LAH ministries and we will be on the Facebook page for LAH ministry. You will not be able to see Facebook live on my personal page. And I know I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Last week, over 340 people joined our page and listen, people are joining day and day and you with all of your friends. Thank you so much. I got FOMO for LAH ministry. I love fear of missing out. That's right. You ain't going to miss it, Maggie. I got you, man. Listen, I want to make sure that you guys know, listen, be connected because we got some amazing things happening. So listen, I want to go ahead and encourage you as we get ready for this Thanksgiving season, please make sure that you know that you are not by yourself. I recognize that some people are going to be dealing with seasonal depression for the lost ones, that the loved ones that you have lost. But please, no, hold on. Help is on the way. I'm praying with them for you. Reach out and let me know. And you know, I will be laying before the Lord before you. So listen, I, I'm excited. Vacation has officially started. I love y'all. God bless you. Have a whole bunch of fun. And I'll talk to y'all later. Love you and good night. What a powerful time in the Lord. Please join us every second Sunday at 11 o'clock a.m. If you have prayer requests or questions, please email us at tntteachingministries at gmail.com. We pray that the blessings of the Lord would overtake you. God bless you. What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Vicky Winans, and you're watching Bell Global. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy, D. Hattie, watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching the Bell Global Network.